The process for mating management now for us then starts when we first get up in the morning, even before we go on the farm. We can see the level of activity that is in the herd and see the nature of individually every animal. So we've got 227 here. We can see her heat last night, a very definite spike, 21 days before her pre-mating heat, two of them, and then going right back her 10 day post-calving heat, giving me a huge amount of confidence that she and the others are actually on heat. I can then go through to the paddock, and here's 227 right here, and she comes through the shed. She and any of the others on heat, I'm able to have a confidence that I'll not only know who they are, but I'll be able to draft them out and have them ready for AB. And that's the mob down there. At the end of the morning milking then, before the technicians arrive, we then have a complete list within the app of all of those cows that we've confirmed on heat. And that list then, in numerical order, and sorted by mobs, we can actually transfer directly over to the uh, AB records. Anne and I here in Pokeru are carving down 630 cows, and it's been the uh, first mating that we've actually been running halter. Reproductively, it's meant then that we've been able to set ourselves up for mating by having a really good understanding of the pre-mating heats. Um, we'd normally be sitting around the 70% and we've um, exceeded the 80% mark, which is the industry target this year. We're on target for our 98% uh, um, first three weeks submission rate. And our non-return rates, which we usually struggle to get to 70%, um, we are very confident we'll easily do that. Um, particularly because the, the quality of the heats that we're actually finding and putting up um, are very good this year. As the farm owner and employer, I'm with the two farms. It's important for me then to be able to know that that decision making process is replicated across both farms, regardless of which of us are there. And using the app, I would then be able to zoom in on both farms and know that the staff are making the same uh, quality of decisions every day. Regardless of experience, and we vary from one to um, five years of the four young staff that I've got, um, but any staff are able to make the same high quality decision every day because the information is able to tune into what's exactly happening with the animals and then take that information and help us make a decision on um, what's best for that animal. The animals every year that we struggle with the most in terms of our um, empty rate are always the younger and the higher producing animals just because they're d diverting uh, significant amounts of energy to production and so as with them and all of the animals, to be able to see and be able to pick up on the much more subtle signs, um, particularly with those girls with uh, quiet or silent heats, uh, that's been fantastic. Getting to understand that the technology gets to watch them 24 hours a day and we will get to see them for a few minutes during milking and then as a whole herd during the day, um, the two don't really compare.